And now we'll take the next signature, put this in place, line it up to the head, and I'll punch the holes from the inside out with my little pin here. And the thread is kind of short, so I'm going to tie a knot inside, and I'll show you how we do that. So I'll open the book up. Take my scissors, clip the string. Take a new piece of thread. And with this thread, I'm going to make a loop with a little tail sticking up. And I want the loop to be formed so that the tail is underneath the thread and it sticks up. Then I'll take the old thread that's in the book and make another loop. I'm going to stick that through the hole, wrap this loop over that little tail that sticks up, and then you just take that little tail and you can pull the knot where you want it to be inside the book. This is a, a, a bowline knot. Now I'll take a couple lengths of thread, five, six, and I'll release the tension of the thread by just pulling it lightly between my fingers. And you should always do this you know, for a new piece of thread, especially these thin ones, because if you don't do it, it'll knot up when you put it. See how it knots there? It'll knot up like that right in your book and you won't be able to like get it out very easily. So I do this like you know twice. Once very loosely and then a little bit more pressure between my fingernail and the uh, and the finger to release the tension in the thread. Now to re-thread the needle push the thread through the eye and then I'm going to flatten the thread slightly like this and then push the needle through the thread. And then you can just pull this down like that and this goes around the end of the thread, the end of the needle and it stays on. So now we can continue sewing all along. And when you pull, always pull along the spine, like this. If you tend to pull like this, you may rip your, your signatures. But like you pull this way, you'll always have you know, your, your proper tension. Okay, getting to the end of this. And now to make the kettle stitch, I set the needle between the last two sewn or joined signatures and then push that up through the loop and pull this straight up holding a little bit of pressure on the on the book itself and that's all you need just a little bit of firm pressure with these thin threads if you pull too hard you can break them so now we'll start the next signature and I'll sew this along and show you a kettle at the other end which is really the same thing pre-punching this makes it a lot easier to sew quickly. And again, always pull the thread along the spine, like that. Put this down a little bit more pressure here. The next one here, like that. And then push the needle between the last two joined signatures out there tail and up through the loop 
and you notice I'm holding this down and then tight. There's our finished kettle stitch. I'm going to show you the knot now with a piece of, of uh, hemp cord because you weren't able to see that very clearly in the last part of the video. So what you're going to do is take your old piece of, uh, or the piece that's actually in the book, and make a loop with a tail like this and make sure that the tail is underneath the main part of the, uh, of the cord. Then with your new thread, you'll make another loop and you'll push this through and over that tail. Then all you have to do is grab the tail and pull. And this puts your knot exactly where you want it to go into, into the book. Then you'll trim these edges. You know, make them shorter. Now I'll do that again. Take your old piece of thread, make a loop so that the tail is underneath the main part and stands up like this. Take your new thread, make a loop, you make a long loop, and then push it through and over that piece, grab it and pull. And there you have your knot. And this is how we finished the, the last stitch off. I've sewn the last signature on, and I'm going to do the kettle in the traditional way, which is to put it out through here, and then bring it up through the loop, and hold the tension, and then we'll do one more kettle between the last two signatures. And this is all you need to finish off the sewing. So I'll cut this with about a, an inch left, and when we glue this down, that will go in between you know, the signatures like that.